Hey folks, welcome back. Today's video, we're heading out to Northeast Palm Bay, Florida to do some work underneath the customer's kitchen sink. All right, so today we are at a customer's house and he has requested for us to remove the garbage disposal and not put a new one in, repipe it back in. That's the whole lesson today and I'm gonna show you how it's done. So let's go. Okay, kitchen sink and we're here to remove the garbage disposal today and to plumb this all back in without that guy. And you see we have a dishwasher drain. We're gonna have to uh, accommodate that as well. So let's get that disposal out first. I'll go ahead and get this unplugged. There we go. And we'll take these brackets off the drain and stuff and then the dishwasher hose and then take the bracket off of here and then re-plumb this all back in. Always wear gloves. The stuff that you don't want to get in your fingernails. Catch buckets, towels. Let's get that drain for the dishwasher off here first. All right, there we go. I'm always going to have some water in there. Okay. There we go. I'm going to take this plate off of here. Flathead screwdriver or some sort of a socket driver or something. There's one that's on the other side as well. Always have a catch bucket because there is water probably sitting in here. Get the disposal up there. All right, bye bye, garbage disposal. All right, that bracket's got to come off there because it will not accommodate us to plumb this back in. That's just for a garbage disposal. Fill head screwdriver. Well, in this case, it looks like a flat head. Three of them. all of them up real good. The whole thing is moving now. Loosen all three of them screws up. I can get them all nice and loosened up all the way. three screws loosened up there's a clip that's up in there that clip's got to get popped off of there just nice and easy there it is now this whole piece is going to come out Let's push this thing out from the top all right and now we clean that whole area up from the bottom to the top side all that stuff off of there. So I'm going to just caulk it. Got to be nice and clean. All that stuff's got to come off. Be right back once we get that cleared up. Nice and clean, no old putty, caulking, all that stuff. Make sure the underneath is nice and clean as well, no debris. Let's go ahead and put a new regular strainer basket in there. Plumber's putty around here. Push it in there, squeeze that putty in real good. Rubber gasket friction gasket, bottom ring, rubber gasket up first. Thank you. 
All right, new strainer basket in. I'm looking at this side over here and that nut is cracked, it's broke. So we're gonna take that whole piece out of there and replace everything up to that nut. Maybe oh, stuck in there. Some water coming out. I got a cat bucket. There we go. A lot of water coming out of there. Wow. Phew. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. That thing is just hanging. <laughs> yeah. Broken. That's got to come off there. And then we get to plumb this all back in without a garbage disposal. But let's not forget about the dishwasher. All right. So I came back outside. Let's take a moment to review. The customer I'm working for is an old home inspector. Did it for years and years and years. And he does not like garbage disposals. And if you've followed my channel for any time, you'll know that I'm not really a big fan of them either. The kitchen drain is the dirtiest drain in anyone's house, hands down. Then you add a garbage disposal to it. That's asking for problems with your drain when it comes to your kitchen. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this all back together. Remember, we still have to tie that back in with the dishwasher drain before it was draining into the garbage disposal. Well, that's gone. I'm going to show you what you have to get and use in order to make that happen. This is what's called a PVC direct dishwasher connection waste. Now there's size for larger hose connections or smaller, or this one can be used as small or cut it there and use that as a larger connection. But it all depends on the size of that drain connection coming from your dishwasher uh, to do it accordingly. And that's got a little compression with a ferrule as well as that and a little extension piece and along with that we're also going to be using what's called an end waste so we're going to create all that together which is a single street p-trap and then into the wall where it drains so before you put anything back together always make sure to prep and clean anything but there's old teflon tape on here get that stuff all out of there nice and clean for our new connections we're going to start with an end waste we'll take this all apart with all the small holes and show you how to put it together We're gonna make our attachment first connection to the new strainer basket and the brass nut and the top hat ferrule that came with that. And now we have a piece off the end outlet. We're gonna take that top hat ferrule, put it there, and we're gonna set it down with the flange end up and slide that little nut up to the strainer basket. Nice and easy, snug, just like that. All right, so this piece of the end outlet wants to sit over here on the left side where that garbage disposal was, okay? And come across and catch that. Now at this point, you got two decisions to make. You make that one longer and bring it down and put your dishwasher waste in line right there and then catch that underneath. But in this case, we're gonna put it in line, come across like that. Nut and ferrule, our T, that dishwasher waste and the nut and the ferrule and we're wanting the water to go this direction so we're going to take and we're going to put this end into that T that's on the right hand side that did not hold the garbage disposal now we're going to fill this little bit of a void I'm gonna take this piece right here and cut it so it matches here to there. That. 
and a ferrule beveled end out. See that? Just like that. is what we're looking at see that that's where the dishwasher is going to drain and slide itself down and we're going to put our trap in right there and wrap this baby up sweet tighten that baby down right there nut and ferrule like so p-trap Nice and easy, don't cross thread nothing. Just like that. Beautiful. Everything's snug. There you have it. All out of there and replumbed in without a garbage disposal. It's still usable for the drain for the dishwasher. Now it's time to test this thing and see if we've got any leaks. Hey, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. I by no means am a fan of a garbage disposal, so I believe that they add extra trash and crap to your dirtiest drain already in the house. I install garbage disposals for customers all the time. That's on them. Business is business. If you happen to be going and buying a house and you find there's a garbage disposal in the house and you don't want it in there, then this is how you have to go about doing it. But don't forget to take account that the drain for the dishwasher has to have that special little drain piece that you saw me put in. You can buy all this stuff at a local plumbing supply company or big box store. Got any questions, leave them down below and don't forget to keep plumbing.